my channel in this week's sewing class we're gonna make a little black dress uh, but for me it will be a little black dress with white flowers so uh, it will be a really classic piece um, but because I'm gonna make it out of a knit this is a knit fabric with embroidered flowers and it has this really beautiful Hawaiian like hibiscus flowers and I am totally in love with Hawaii I always wear my hibiscus necklace and I saw this fabric and I thought it's so nice, I want to make something out of it. So I'm gonna make the classic little black, black dress with white flowers on it. And of course you see little black dresses everywhere. I just took one example uh, to show you. And this is just a very plain one as it should be. Princess seams in the front, uh, darts in the back, a zipper in the back. Uh, if you want, if you have a very stretchy fabric, you can uh, maybe skip that zipper. I just try uh, how uh, if you can get in without a zipper a little slit in the mid back uh, and for the rest just very plain and classy and that is the idea of a little black dress and you can just um, make your difference with what kind of fabric you use as I have the white flowers on top of it but also this just plain black is very nice uh, I will add some sleeves because I think then it's more versatile, especially now we're going into fall and winter. So I will make three quarter sleeves. I like that more than long sleeves. I think you can do more with three quarter sleeves and you still have the warmth of sleeve around your arms. So we're going to make uh, three quarter sleeves uh, water fitted, not too, too loose because then it will look too casual and I want it to look really classy. So I'll show you how we make our sleeves later on. So this is my inspiration. Picture. So the dress is, as I already said uh, in the inspo, um, it's a fitted dress with some princess seams in the front, uh, three quarter sleeves, or you, of course you can make long sleeves. Uh, I make my uh, rounded neck a little bit wider than standard because I'm going to try if I'm going to make it without a zipper in the mid back. Um, I don't know if it, the, the fabric is stretchy enough to do it, but I'm just going to try. If it doesn't work out, I'm still going to put in a zipper in the mid back. Uh, the darts uh, in the back, um, a small slit here at the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a facing here around the neck opening that is just um, a centimeter or six or seven centimeters wide, just in the same shape as your neck hole. And that will finish your neck hole very nicely and it makes that your neck hole also stays very nicely put to your skin. So that's the whole pattern. And then for the pattern you will just need your basic pattern for a top that we made a few months ago with darts uh, or with princess seams, whatever you made. Um, we're going to use now the one with the princess seams and um, that's the only thing you need for the for the dress you need that pattern for the front and you need the other one with the darts for the back and then you use the back dart so it will be the, the uh, lowest here and the lowest there that's your back pattern um, the only thing then that you have to do is measure out how low you want your uh, neck hole to be in the front here of course you just use your uh, back pattern neck hole and then measure out how long you want your dress to be. I make mine just uh, around knee length and uh, just measure out how long that must be for you and make sure that you or adjust your pattern or make sure on when you cut it out of your fabric that you mark very good where you need to start uh, stop cutting because um, it won't be the first time it happened to me before that I just cut around my my pattern and I think oh I should have made it longer because my pattern was too short and I needed to add five centimeters to get the length that I wanted so make sure when you cut your fabric that you have all, or your pattern right or you marked on your fabric how long your dress should be so this is for the front this is for the back and then for the sleeve, I also can use my basic pattern for the sleeve because I already made it rather small and with a rather high uh, head. Now 
now because this isn't really a casual look more, but a more dressy look you must make sure that your sleeve is not too wide I have rather thin arms so mine is now 38 centimeters maybe that's not enough for you so just measure around your upper arm uh, around your shoulder how much you need for your sleeve that is not too tight uh, so maybe it must be more of you maybe you can have less and make sure you have a rather high head on your um, sleeve mine is almost 17 centimeters high from the uh, armhole to the top you need quite a bit because you want to narrow your uh, sleeve down and it means that you need some more height on the head of your um, sleeve and then again measure how long you want your sleeve to be and uh, put that on your pattern or on your fabric so i cut my pieces and i was afraid that i didn't have enough fabric because uh, as you might know i always buy my fabrics when i see them on sale or when i see a good bargain or when i see some fabric in the thrift store or something like that i almost never buy fabric that I know what I'm gonna make out of it so I bought this fabric and it was just barely enough I was afraid I couldn't put my uh, sleeves out of it but I put the sleeves in between the uh, front and the back pattern and then I just made it I just have enough to make the facing later on um, but I cut it out um, and of course the front part is on the fold the back part has the seam for um, if you want the zipper otherwise for the slit make sure you mark on your um, fabric your uh, princess seams you can do that with a marker a, text, a textile marker or I always do it with pins and also mark your darts here on the back um, and then of course we have two sleeves so we're gonna start now with sewing our princess seams and I cut them in for your darts you don't have to cut them in I always just pin I think don't think you can see it but I always pin the beginning and the end of my dart and the widest point and then I put my uh, fabric together and match those pins up and then I pin it down to the beginning and to the end but because this uh, has a, a curve it's very difficult to do it when you haven't cut it in so you always cut it open put your uh, pins on your marking spots also here at the waist you can do that but especially here because they really need to match up and then you just sew them like you would uh, sew a dart uh, just by putting it together matching up the pins and matching up the ends and then make sure that you don't stretch this out because then you get really a problem so just match it up match it up and try to uh, put them together as closely as you can without stretching anything out um, if you're not familiar with sewing darts then certainly watch my tutorial about it I will link it up here and down in the description box then you get more of an insight how to do that nicely and for these princess seam it's almost the same just that now you have an open seam and you have really need to match up those marking points Now we can sew, sew our side seams so put your back pieces on top of your front pieces and then sew those whole side seams on both sides uh, and then what you can do is you can pin your um, mid back seam also because then you can try it on and you can see if your um, darts in the back and your princess seams in the front are good enough maybe you have to tighten something or make it longer or shorter or whatever you can uh, do that now when you're sewing your side seam so you can see if it really fits to your body and of course you can also do now your shoulder seams so i'm gonna do that first
So I was glad that I could get in without a zipper. I pinned it down all the way to the top on the back and there was no problem putting my head through the neck hole. So I'm not going to put in a zipper, I'm just going to sew the mid back uh, seam down. Uh, but don't be afraid if you need to put in a zipper, I have a special sewing class about that. Uh, I even have two, one for an invisible zipper and one for a normal zipper. So if you do need to make a zipper in your dress, uh, I will link up here and down below in the description box the sewing classes how to do that if you don't, uh, if you're not familiar with how to put in a zipper. Um, <clears throat> but I won't have to do it, so that's nice. Um, but I have to make some uh, adjustments because uh, it wasn't fitting the way I wanted it and uh, that is exactly why I don't like uh, the sewsters that uh, copy their clothing just by putting their shirt or their dress on a piece of paper and that is your pattern because we now made our pattern exactly to our measurements so more exact you can be and even then when you have a different fabric your outcome will be a little bit different so you have you will be very precise for making your pattern and still it can be that you have to make small adjustments so don't ever copy your uh, garments that you already have because they fit you nicely because when you make them uh, again and you just copy them it won't fit you and when you've got it too large it's not that big of a deal but when you cut them too small then you can throw away your fabric and that's really a shame so what I had to do is here at my armholes in the front I put it now inside out um, it was too wide so I'm gonna take in here my princess seam one centimeter uh, going to uh, the widest part so going here to that curve um, and if you're not sure if you see when you have it on that it's not okay you're not sure how much you have to take in just put it on uh, one side out then you can just pinch it in here where you need it and you give it as much as you need so that it is nicely fitted here to your chest and that's a very simple way to make it fit it exactly to your body and what I also wanted to do is in the back um, my darts I want to adjust a little bit because I saw that um, here on the top of my uh, back it was a bit there was a bit too much of a fabric so I'm gonna take it in uh, just above the waist just a bit higher I'll take it in a little bit more and make the curve a little bit higher than it stopped here and now I'm gonna stop here but uh, what's most important is my stitching was here and now I put it one centimeter to the side so I do that on both sides that also means that I take in my dress a bit and I it could do that because uh, it could be a little bit tighter than it was now so I'm gonna take in these two uh, darts too um, and then my dress is nicely fitted um, what I will do then is uh, sew down my um, center back uh, uh, seam and if you need to put in the zipper you can put in your zipper in the mid back now. dress nicely fitted and because I took here my princess seam in um, that means that the armhole opening is smaller now so what I have to do when I'm gonna make my uh, sleeve I'm just gonna sew my sleeve seam first so go putting it double right side together and sew that down and then see whether I have to uh, or whether I want to lower here my armhole or whether I can make my sleeve a bit smaller it's a bit depending on how tight my sleeve already is underneath my arm what I can do with this I, if I take out this here a centimeter uh, it will make my uh, sleeve sit a bit looser 
when I take my sleeve in of course it will be tighter so just depending on what to do so what I'm just going to start with is just sewing both my um, sleeve seams and then pin that in the armhole and see how I have to adjust it and what I want to adjust. to take in my sleeve a bit because in my basic pattern I already have my armhole rather low because I don't like it when it's that too tight underneath your arm so I make my um, sleeve smaller and what I also did I made it smaller here at the bottom because I didn't like that how, how wide it was and now it is 12 centimeters so 24 centimeters all around and I think that is a nicer look for this dress then what you do is you mark the middle of your sleeve just by folding it together on the seam and then you put your dress wrong side out and you put your sleeve into the armhole and then you're going to connect that pin of the middle of your sleeve with your shoulder seam and you pin that down and I also always, always like to put my seam allowance to the back of my dress then you align your sleeve seam with your side seam also putting the seam allowance to the back of my dress and then you pin it just all around and what you should do is here your princess seam make that facing up and it will I think already do that especially when you pressed it down but it's better to put it up and not going down because then this curve will fall really strange so just pin it all around in your armhole and then sew your sleeve in So I sewed my uh, sleeves in and what I did before that, uh, I tried it on as I always do, always do and uh, I saw that I thought there was still too much fabric uh, on the sleeve so what I did, I don't know if you can see it, I think not I made the head of my uh, sleeve a little bit more steep so I took off here from one side this bit if you follow my finger you can see it, so quite a bit so that it wasn't too much bulk there around the sleeve because it was really falling in and I didn't like it so I made my head quite a bit smaller you can even make it more steep on both sides uh, then you get nicely the head of your sleeve falling over your shoulder but not all the bulk in the front and the back and sometimes that's nice to have and also nice to see but for dress that, this dress I didn't really like it so I took that off and then I sewed my sleeves in and I also marked it on my basic pattern to know for the next time that I want to take this off for my sleeve so if I want to recreate this dress I know that already so that's why I always mark on my basic patterns adjustments that I uh, want to have for always or just for once uh, for a specific, specific garment then I cut my uh, facing pieces for finishing the neck hole I cut one for my back and because I don't have a zipper I just put it on the fold if you have a zipper here in the mid back of course just make a seam here and sew that seam onto the zipper band then one for the front so what we're going to do is we're going to put them right sides together sew the, both the uh, shoulder seams and then you put them right sides together on top of your dress and you sew them uh, along the neck hole seam so just put them right sides together on the front and on the back of course your shoulder seams here matching and then you just show them all the way around you flip it to the wrong side uh, I would suggest top stitching uh, under stitching here the seam allowance to your uh, facing part and then flip it back in and give that a nice press and of course finish the edges here with an overlock or with a zigzag stitch and then you have your uh, neck hole nicely finished by that 
Then the only thing we have to do is hem the sleeves and hem the bottom. Uh, the sleeves I have rather some fabric left so I'll make a rather white hem here. I think I like it very much. They have a nice white hem. Um, for the bottom I had a problem because as I already said um, I had barely enough fabric so I cut my uh, patterns just as long as I could but when I put it on now it is just at the right length. Uh, and I don't want to have it any centimeter short because then it's really too short to my taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I've got some um, fabric that I'm gonna use as a sort of a bias tape. I'm gonna sew that along the bottom, then flip it, clipping it inside and it, uh, attaching it on the inside to the dress. And then I only ha uh, have less. Uh, in length of the seam allowance that I take here, so I do it as closely to the edge as I can, so half a centimeter, three quarter of a centimeter, so that I don't lose length on my dress. Um, so that's what you have to do, and then your dress is finished. This is the kind of dress that you can have 10 of because when you make them in a different color and a different fabric you never see that it's the same dress and it is in, especially in this fabric this knit that is uh, very stretchy but still very nice and classy it fits so nicely so comfortable you see it's nicely figure hugging but still never too tight never too uh, uncomfortable to wear but it looks really really nice and of course you can top it up with a blazer or a long cardigan that will be very nice too uh, in other videos i often do some styling tips if you like that please let me know in the comment section if you also like to see some styling tips afterwards but this is really the dress that is just perfect it fits nice it's nicely fitted to your curves on all the sides and um well there's no better dress than this one to my taste it's a little bit too short but as you saw I just ran out of fabric I couldn't make it any longer so I rather would have it just five centimeters longer but for now in, uh, in fall you can wear it like this with bare legs and some heels uh, or some ankle boots and in winter you can put on some tights and some boots and you know I like my over the knee boots so then it's not really a problem that it is so short but it was very easy to make as you saw especially when you don't have to put a zipper in in the back then it's just nothing at all to uh, to do 
and uh, you have a very nice piece in your closet so i hope you like this one and it was another knitted one and there will be lots and lots more because i already have some uh, fabrics left uh, laying down and i hope i didn't buy too little because it's very annoying that when you want to make something you see oh i don't have it much but i'm always trying to get a bargain not trying uh trying not to buy too much because when i buy two minutes and i only use one and a half then i can hardly do anything with that half meter of fabric left so i always try to buy one and a half meters unless i know what i want to make and i know that i need more but it's very good to uh, buy your fabrics when you see a bargain when it's on sale something like that i always buy my fabrics like that because uh, it, it must be fun it must not be expensive it must be good quality um, fabrics that are made good and uh, i never no i really never buy them for the normal price because i think that it's really too much and uh, well this one was a nice one i'm very happy with it i like the pattern i like my hibiscus i already had my hibiscus, hibiscus necklace and my earrings so i'm really totally in my hawaii mood so i hope you like this one uh, if you like my videos please consider subscribing we have a nice little family now going on we can help each other out in the description box uh, in the comment section if there, you have any problem with it leave me a question if you have something to ask or something to say and i'll see you again next time thank you so much for watching bye